Hello YouTube, if you guys are looking for any alternative for Oxygen OS on OnePlus 3 or 3T, then look no further. Here we have Paranoid Android latest version that is 7.3.0. If you go to settings menu, you can find I'm running on Paranoid Android 7.3.0, which is based on Android NuGet 7.1.2, and you have can find other details. So talking about this ROM, this is a very smooth, great in performance better battery friendly ROM so if you have never tried any custom ROM I will definitely recommend you guys to try this one because this ROM is really good so let's go ahead and check out the features that this paranoid Android is providing so first of all these are the notification area and here you can see we have this quick pull down option so if you are pulling down from the right section the enter toggles and everything you can see if you pull down from the center or the other option other side left side you will be only getting the notifications so this is called pull down option so pull down option is there and the, these are the default toggles you can find even the immersive mode is there so let's go ahead and open the settings menu here on top we have the suggestions because it's based on nougat and wireless and networking there's nothing much to talk about here because everything is common that you can find in Oxynoise and in display we have a uh, bright and display adaptive screen night mode is here and then even here we have the screen saver option ambient display comes with this one and srgb can be enabled for the screen display calibration and pocket detect is detection is there so this is the pocket detection so it will save your battery and then photo size can be changed display size can also be changed and cast and theme we have like default theme gray and then pixel as well as the dark one you can choose from all these four options whereas in the oxygen we have only two and we have this customization for the battery charging light and notification light so that's all about the display not going to notifications you will be getting all the settings that you find on the oxynoise nothing new here and here we have these screen of gestures jump to camera by quickly opening kind of a power button twice and this was there in the oxynoise but now it's not because of the legal issue especially in india so here we have you can double press the power button to open the camera and then double tap to sleep three finger screenshot lift to check phone and here we, you can customize all these off-screen gestures double tap one finger swipe one finger swipe right down and everything it's like we we will be you will be getting a better customization over the gestures in sound we have uh, play by control so long pressing the volume keys while the screen is off will seek the music track it is really in buttons you can find the pi settings and i am not sure why it's there because pi control is not in this rom let me if i'm missing something we can enable the uh, software keys swap keys even swap slider so you can change the alert slider options by swapping it and then we have this accidental touch prevention prevent interaction with the navigation buttons while the screen is being touched and then you can customize the home back button and then recent button operations those are the settings you can find in buttons and then in apps you can find all the regular app settings in storage battery memory users tap and pay this rom also supports the ota updates and which is neat so these are the settings you can find from the settings menu and let's talk about the other aspects this is the dialer messaging application and this is the paranoid android browser which is more like chrome but a more polished version of chrome which i really like it and then here we have this camera that the panorama mode is there and then video as well as photos Talking about the camera, if you swipe up, you will get all these settings that you can play with. HDR and everything. If you go here, you can go ahead and change all these settings. 
so you'll get more control over the camera application from here and these are the video settings that you can find and then we have this panorama option also and I find this panorama is more stable and it's stitching the images better than the oxygen OS which I really liked about this so definitely go ahead and check out this one and I don't I didn't find in many much improvement over the camera quality or something or picture quality but I definitely recommend you guys to try this panorama it's really good so that's over the camera let's go ahead and check out the stock applications that comes with this ROM we have a calculator calendar camera clock and files this is the file manager and then we have this is the gallery app before the gallery app and then uh, this is the shuttle plus is the default music application comes with this rom and it also supports widget and it really neat i really like the design and of functioning of this shuttle plus of music player and we have the sound record also if you press and hold the screen button you can customize this the launcher screen and here you can also hide application from the launcher and talking about the benchmarking this is the benchmarking got this is the benchmarking score I've got for this panel Android which is decent which is a really good score and talking about the battery I'm getting a better battery than oxygen eyes I'm getting around three and a half to four hours of screen on time with this ROM so if you guys are really interested just go ahead and check out this rom i will provide the link in the description as well as i will provide another link a video link for you guys to know how you can flash this any custom rom on your oneplus 3 or 3d so down below you can find the uh, download rom option here you can download from here as well as you need to download the open g apps open g apps should be arm 64 and Android version 7.1 take the Pico so you'll be having all the necessary Google Apps I download it and then flash it enjoy so what do you guys think about this latest version of panel Paranoid Android let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thanks for watching please subscribe for more